Hey everybody, welcome to the 3D Printer channel. Today I'd like to share some tools that I use to process raw RC benchmark data into graphs easily in Octave, which is an open source uh, science tool. So to get started, we can look at what the RC benchmark outputs usually look like. And this is a step test, which means the PWM is increased steadily so there's not that many rows whereas there are some continuous tests where you have hundreds of rows of data and this is especially helpful but in either case uh, this tool allows you to process either type of testing continuous or stepped instantly and you don't have to copy and paste columns like you would in Excel usually to get a graphed output so if you look at the code, it's uh, pretty straightforward. We can look at this one first, and you're just reading two of the raw RC benchmark files that have only had their CSV title changed. Collecting the rows uh, data from the specific columns and putting it in arrays and just plotting it all out. So it's pretty simple. And if we just hit run, it should pop up and you've got everything you would really want to see and because we're collecting the ESC RPM data or RPM data via the ESC we get the breakdown that RC benchmark will do automatically between mechanical and electrical power and uh, we can plot basically anything we want so one important distinction is that Due to the monographs here, I put all the units and axes on the title. And uh, it's pretty easy because PWM is usually on the x-axis. But not always because it can kind of become confusing because sometimes you want to compare things at equal thrust. So here, here you get the amp draw at every thrust. So you might say hover at 150 and you want to know which propeller is giving more uh, or less amps, where here it's kind of hard to tell because you can see the thrust at 150 here, but you have to get the PWM for both of those and go over here and then get the amp draw at two different PWMs, which is kind of confusing. So amps versus thrust is pretty convenient, and I'll get more of that later. But here you can see RPM versus PWM, which is definitely not linear. Uh, so this helps you visualize that. Um, this is just overall efficiency or grams per uh, watt of power, gram force per watt of power. So this is pretty simple and it skips over considering the motor and propeller separately, but it's also robust because as long as your grams and your electrical power are calibrated well there's really not a lot that can go wrong here so it's always good to compare that with the other efficiencies and uh, here's the efficiencies replotted with thrust which it, why I explained why that was important earlier and then but going back to what the ESC RPM values allow you to do is separate the electrical power and you can see that the uh, mechanical power is going to be less because of the efficiency of the the efficiency of the motor. Uh, here, for some reason, I have efficiency over 100 in this specific graph, so that would be something you'd want to check. But here, you can visualize the uh, prop versus the motor efficiency, and you can analyze them separately as well. And just the one last thing you'd want to take in consideration is the acceleration. So this sh it's ideal to have this as low as possible. It's also ideal to have this be relatively equal because that can disadvantage your uh, one of your tests and bias the other. So and of course here's the label over here you don't have to put it on every graph because the colors fly to everything but uh, one kind of disadvantage is the underscore kind of 
makes a subscript of the following character. I haven't found a way around that, but maybe somebody in the comments can let me know. So going on to the other scripts here aren't too different. Uh, they're just solely the thrust in amps, and you just basically want whichever propeller you're designing or testing to be furthest to the right and lowest because the point that ha that's furthest to the right is the one with the most thrust and the point that's lowest here is using the least power and you've got a couple gem fan and on a one luminaire three inch prop and a 3d printed prop here and sometimes you want to compare a lot of props and sometimes you just want to look at two so I just have two separate graphs here to kind of avoid any coding tricks it's just you put the CSV name right here and you hit run and you get a labeled graph that you can use so that's about it uh, I'll, like I'll have this on my website and uh, this is an octave so it should be really easy to use especially if you're on Linux although you can use octave on Windows just as well if you download the executable file uh, one last detail, I guess, is that all these files are able to scale the inputs from each file, so I look at everything in grams just because of everything I'm working on is pretty small, but if you want to scale any of the units or any of your tests are in different units, you can use this here uh, in any of these scripts. And uh, I'm not sure if this works in MATLAB or not, but... Uh, there's really nothing complicated going on here uh, nothing like very unique functions that are exclusive to Octave so it should work or have very little problems running there uh, yeah if you think this is useful or you enjoyed enjoyed it then subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment to what you thought how we could improve this and hopefully some people get some use out of it and until next time guys bye